Bum, 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 bum. So what's up dudes, welcome to the Adapt and Overcome Home CrossFit Eastside Workout for Friday the 17th of April. That's April is flying. Um, we are going well, we are going well. Alright, so guys, if you want to get these YouTube workouts every single day, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel CrossFit Eastside and you'll get these workouts every day. Anyway, cracking on. We're starting off today with a warm up that's going to be six minutes long. Each of the exercises will be 45 seconds each. So, minute one, you do 45 seconds, take a 15 second break, and you do the same thing for each of the six minutes. 45 seconds of jumping jacks, first minute. After the 45 seconds of jumping jacks are done, 45 seconds of inchworms. Just walk out in your hands, walk back. Straight legs. 45 seconds in terms. After that, 45 seconds of sit ups or bicycle sit ups. We're just bringing one knee in and then the other. 45 seconds alternating. Remember, you have a 15 second break after each one. Then it's going to be 45 seconds of dumbbell or the else. So dumbbell, kettlebell, barbell, straight legged, straight hip back. Keep the dumbbells nice and close to the body. Okay, 45 seconds after that, 45 seconds of mountain climbers. Knees throughout the middle, and then it's our good morning. Okay, so if you've got a bar, a broomstick, anything like that at home, we're gonna put the bar on your back. Slight, slight bend in the knee, hinge at the hip, core legs and brace, all the way over and come back. Light up your hamstrings, 45 seconds. After that, today is a heavy day, right? So we're going into deadlifts today. I'm going to give you a variation if you have a barbell, and I'm going to give you a variation if you don't, okay? Just flick down there, guys. So, our strength work today would be what we would normally do if we were doing a standard deadlift set in the gym if class was running. So, strength work, five sets of five, and you're going to work in a tempo deadlift. We've been doing a lot of tempo sets lately. Tempo is important because that allows us to add extra stimulus, okay? When you don't have the load at home, you can add stimulus through time and tempo, which just means you take a little bit longer on the reps, so you're under more pressure while you're lifting, okay? So we're doing the deadlift with the bar, okay? So we're doing the bar. I want you to do five sets of five reps on the deadlift with a two and a half minute break between each set. Okay, alright? But they're going to be tempo deadlifts. So each rep of five should look like this. You're going to go from the bottom. Shins are nice and vertical, core is braced, back is flat, hamstrings are engaged. One, two, three. It should take three seconds to get to the top. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core, and then on the way down, hinge. One, two, three. Pause for one second and then repeat. So it's going to be three seconds up, three seconds down, one second pause at the bottom for each of them five reps. Then you're going to do five sets. If you're doing this before your workout, make sure you do a few warm-up sets, like three sets of five to warm up, lightweight. If you're doing it after the workout, like a lot of us will do in our live classes daily, um, you don't need to do that extended warm-up because you'd be very warm from the workout already. Okay? If you don't have the um, ability to use a bar, I want you to go with dumbbells, but we're going to increase the reps. Instead of doing five sets of five, we're going to do five sets of ten, but I'm going to get you to go with sumo deadlifts instead. So just say my two dumbbells can be one, can be a kettlebell as well. I'm going to do sumo deadlifts, just the mid shin, core nice and brace, straight knees up, know the way the legs are wider. And I'm going to do a set of 10, okay? 10 sumo deadlifts, still with the tempo, three seconds up, three seconds down. The only difference is the legs are wide, core is braced, and the weights are in the middle of my legs rather than being outside. And I'm going to do five sets of 10 of that. Again, the same thing applies to warm ups, everything else, the tempo is the same. A rest of two and a half minutes between each set. So that is our strength work for today on the deadlift, guys. You can do deadlifts, five sets of five tempo with a barbell, or you can do your five sets of 10 on the sumo deadlift. Again, tempo um, with, a, with a two and a half minute break between each set. Moving on to today's workout. Today's workout is a three set workout of the following exercises. So, you're going to go with 15 barbell or 25 dumbbell deadlifts. Okay, so if you've got that barbell that you used earlier, you do a set of 15 reps. If you don't, you're going to do 25. Okay, so just say at the barbell, I'm going to start off this workout. Remember, this is a three set workout. Okay, we're going to do three rounds for time. 
So you're going to drive the hip back, core nice and braced, 15 reps. Guys, you have to take care of your back and your deadlift. Thing. Don't do shitty deadlifts, okay? Don't lead yourself to it. If you're getting a sore back after your deadlift, anybody out there, if you're getting a sore back, you need to be pulled in it and you need to be coached properly. You should never have a sore back when you're deadlifting. Hamstrings, lit up. Glutes, sore. Upper back, fatigue, not lower back, okay? So it'll be 15 deadlifts with the barbell. If you don't have, fit, if you don't have the barbell, you're gonna do a set of 25 with the lighter dumbbells. Suitcase style, okay? Outside of the legs. If you've only got one, you can do it in the middle, like the sumo deadlifts with the kettlebell or dumbbell. Okay? So that's our first exercise. Deadlift first. After that, you're going to do 30 sit-ups. Okay? Pairing core work with deadlifts is always a very common thing you would see in CrossFit because the midline gets fatigued and it's harder then to lift the weight. Okay? So you're going to do your 15 or 25 deadlifts. After that, 30 sit-ups. Make sure you're touching the ground, touching the toes. Again, if you need that, use instead of the arm mat that I have, you can put down a cushion or a towel and hold it up for your lower back. So you've got, excuse me, you've got your 30 sit-ups. And then after that, we're going to go with the walking lunge. So if you want to do these outside, you can, okay? I'll start far back. I'm going to do 30 walking lunges. These are unweighted, okay? Four legs of rest, knee touches the floor, step up, extend, down into the next row. 30 walking lunges, there's 15 each leg. So, recap lads, but once you've got one round done of your 15 deadlifts of 25, 30 sit-ups and 30 walking lunges, you take a minute and a half rest, and then you're going to repeat that another two times, okay? So you've got a minute 30 rest between the sets. Three rounds, okay? Four times. So guys, after that, our finisher for today, that's our workout done, we've got a four minute Tabata section, which is just 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off in each exercise. So you're going to do 20 seconds of toe touches, bring the knees up, reach through the shoulder, touch the toes. 20 seconds of toe touches, try to bring the shoulder to the toe or the hand, rather than bring the toe to the hand, alternating right now. And once you've done um, 20 seconds of that, take a 10 second break, come down to the floor, elevate the shoulders, go with your nice, Slow patrol floor kicks. Again, for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You will do four minutes of that, which is one to bad a block, okay? After that, you're all done. That is Friday, the 17th of April, all wrapped up. Again, as always, guys, keep safe out there. Subscribe to all of our channels. Have a great day, get your workouts in. Enjoy the great weather. Cheers, dudes.